it's time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live Friday. October 13th. Hope everybody is surviving. I think somebody post, I saw somebody post uh, pretty, uh, pretty insane how the S and P is down just a little over half percent, but yet the VIX, our friend, the VIX is up 20% hovering around the 20 handle. So, um, you know, I just so one of the questions I saw as well. I think it was Dark Avenger. You know, how did why why did you start? You know, kind of closing positions. You know, when when the market just was you know barely starting to fall, and I just it was really all about volatility expanding. I mean, you just when you see volatility expanding like that, and the equities just aren't aren't necessarily moving. In fact, I mean, oil's up five and a half percent, but. You know, the VIX is the 30 day options of SPX, right? So uh, to me, that just kind of alerted me that something fishy is going on in the world. So I just I just started reducing risk across the board. Uh, maybe it'll be the right thing. Maybe it won't. We'll see. But I just felt like I uh, had to do so. As far as zero DTE today, the only thing I took was the morning iron condor got stopped out of that. Um, so as far as zero DTE, that was all I did. I ended up skipping DKS and, uh, I, oh, I did. I, I actually did do around the DKS time. I did a, a wider iron condor ended up scratching it. It's kind of on a discretionary basis. I wanted to get a little bit wider. Uh, have been shorting the bounces with futures. So that's been one thing that's working today. Shorting every bounce at V-slap. And for power hour, looks like we are going to have a 10 wide. I've already got some longs in play, so I'll buy some, I'm going to buy some more calls for tranche one. Yeah, all this all this noise for a 10 wide. It's like the 30 20s. So I'll give it a couple of minutes. Yeah, same size for me today, Ken. No changes for me. Could be the thirty five twenty. See if I have my fifteen wide. Yeah. Give it a little bit longer here. Looks like the thirty five twenty fifteen wide. It's right in between on the puts. Now it looks like it could be the 30 20. Uh, 
right? 35, 20 it is. Get filled at 685. Filled at 695. 4335 calls, 4320 puts. A little bounce right into entry. So Dick K, nice work. DKS worked out. Quiet Lunch worked out. Yeah, I don't think there's any uh, any save in the AM one. Yeah, Dick K on that. I said I just saw your question on the Humpty. Yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm doing that, looking at it like, hey, if we have a big tank job over the weekend, that should be fine. Or if we bounce and vol contracts, then that should be fine too. Yeah, what's interesting, so like on a, a lot of these positions, like these hedgehogs I took off, you know, this is this is one of those situations where it just doesn't doesn't bode well for those when you when you barely get any movement, you know, the S P down a half percent, but yet VIX spikes 20%. And we're seeing the vol pumped out, pumped into the longer dated options. You know, those those things together just kind of made me say, hmm, I think I need to take some risk off. Yeah, our time flies. So here's the one that our most recent one we have not adjusted. That's not too far away from where we put it on. We've got this one, which is, we put a uh, upside calendar on. It's pretty well centered now. It's up a little bit. Ball expansion has helped that. And then the one that we've adjusted twice has come in nicely as well. It's down a tiny bit. If we look at Monday. You know, a lot of it depends on what vol does between the uh, front and back weeks. But, you know, looks like we could get at it 7 or 8% on Monday. Possibly. That oil strangle is, I left that on because it's, it's just dead centered. Vol is uh, just got pumped in oil too. So we've adjusted this a couple times, rolled the puts up, rolled the calls down. So we're not down that much, but um, not in the profits yet. QQQ, I left that one on. We've adjusted that one. ZS, left that one on. That one's in fine shape. MES, left that one on. We're profitable on that one, but or actually we're pretty close to a scratch on that one after adjustments. I was uh, I wanted to sell some premium too but i just figured you know what let's just uh let's just see what this thing shakes out over the weekend and then we may even get higher premium next week so we'll see i just played with the old sit on the hand strategy today besides closing a lot yeah exactly dick k i don't you know, when you see that happen, and that means there's some fear, not just today, but uh, a little bit longer, longer term. Especially when you don't see the, I mean, look at Dow, 
Dow is green on the day. I mean, the Dow is green and the VIX is up 20%. Something ain't right. I mean, notes and bonds are up, but not too much. Oil, obviously, up 5.5%. Had a gas down a few percent. Just straight fear coming in. Fear without the movement. Just don't see that very often. I will be putting on a 5.7 at 215 and then a 3.6 a little bit before the close. Yep, I'll still be putting them on. I'm not going to do them with any big size by any means, but still going to still going to put them on. Dick K, you still loading up on the calendars today? Gotcha, gotcha. Opt for dollar. Are you talking about the power hour trade? Yeah, it's always the same. It's always based on fixed premium for each tranche. You can find that in the uh, trade plans. It's got all the back test links, all the exact criteria that we use to that I use to trade it. So volatility is low. We're going to have, we're going to be closer to the price. You know, sometimes a straddle when volatility is really low. Volatility is pumped. We get to go further away. Yeah, so for next week, doing a 3-6 so that my longs are on um, Thursday where Powell speaks. And then doing a 5-7 because there's nothing on Wednesday on those shorts, nothing on Friday either, but so that's that's why I'm doing those. Oh, nice, Mara. All right, so a win percentage, 63% on 22 trades. Interesting. I mean, what a what a uh, pretty linear linear graph, right? The wider you go, the more you make.
Oh, never mind. I didn't. I didn't see. You have it. You have it in order of the P and L. I see. It's interesting why the twenty wide is. I mean, it's only twelve occurrences, so it'd be cool to see that build it built out over time. I like it. And is that bet is that based on back tested results or your your results? Oh, May twenty two. I see now. Got it, got it. And so what's the what's the management strategy around that tranche one? All right, getting a little pullback now. Still got about eight minutes until tranche two. Okay. Cool. I like that. I'll smack dab in the middle. So for tranche one, got in at 695. I'm looking for 415 to reduce my stop. I'm trading at 610. Minimum move up. No, sir, we are down on the day. Not sure if you looked at his chart. Now, the min, min move up is a half percent from the open. Did price move up a half percent from the open? I assume you're talking about the, the the ratio version. So if it's up a half percent from the open or more, I do a ratio. If it's not, I just do one to one. I assume that's what you're referring to.
Nope, they're holding that theta to the end. They're going to hold it right to the end. That's my 5.7 DTE reminder. I just posted my five seven. Lunch two need to buy some wings. bounce here looks like it might be the 4030s oh I I I did okay I tried that for about 10 minutes and I had to I had to shut it off. I couldn't handle it. Oh, when you're not watching. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that would make sense. All right. Tranche two looks like the 4030s. Maybe the forty twenty fives. Trying to get filled at five fifteen. Filled at five fifteen, fifteen wide. Forty twenty fives.
Tranche one is at 590. I'm looking for 415. So tranche two, I got filled at 515. So I'm looking for 310 to reduce my stop on tranche two. I'm looking for 415 on tranche one. It's still trading at 535. VIX only up 14%. Look at that vol contraction. Here it is on a five minute. Hit a high of 20.78, back down to 19. on that little little 10 point bounce punch one down to 505 Punch one down to 490, looking for 415. Tranche two down to 460, looking for 310. Yeah, Dark Avenger, I just uh, glanced at my P&L of my 5.7. It's already down a few hundred bucks from when I just put it on. So much better prices right now after that little contraction.
Notch one down to 450. You know, the week started out so beautiful. Monday was a big win. Tuesday was a big win. Wednesday and Thursday, I don't remember exactly. I think Wednesday was kind of a scratch or small loss. Just I'm just talking overall p &L. Yesterday was green. And then today, today took some of that away. Did wire a bunch of money out of my account Wednesday. I was like, I got, I got to take this out. I'm gonna do something stupid if I don't. <laughs> that's my, that's my don't do anything stupid paycheck. After big wins. Oh, wow. You take it out five days a week, huh? It's interesting. Win or lose, you're taking money out? Or just on wins? Oh, okay. Punch one under 450, 445. Better get ready for tranche three. Buy some wingies. You mean 20 wide? It's like 15 or 20. Looks like the 35s and the 15s or 20s. We go 15 wide. Crunch three, 15 wide. For three ninety five. How about four twenty? Wow. Put my order in at three ninety five, got filled at four twenty. So I'm on the thirty five twenties. Ranch one down to 420. 415, reducing my stop on tranche one to 715.
Toronto's two is at 485. I'm looking for 310 on that one. All right, my friends, locked and loaded. Anywhere between 25 and 35 would be ideal. Yeah, for tranche three, I went 35, yeah, I went 35, 20. 15 wide. Still short three futures. Trying to decide when I want to cut loose those. I use a 20 Delta on the 5.7 Murph Dog, so... You should never base your trades on when I get in. I'm short ES. Should be able to get in much better pricing on the five seven than I did because I'm down on it already. I reduced stop my stop on tranche ones at seven fifteen. Currently trading at four seventy. Tranche two is at six sixty. Take off one more of my ESs. I'll leave a couple on. A little bounce. Crunch two at 405. I need 310. I need that to. Yeah, I get up to about 30 or 35 to reduce stop.
punch two down below four bucks. Two fifty. That's when I'm doing my three six. Change two down to three fifty. I'm looking for three ten. Bounce a little bit more. That should get down there. Saw 335. You can't hold your premium all day. These these options expire, Mr. SPX. Going to have to give it up one way or another. Can't take it to the grave. Bounce two back up, bounce back up to four fifty. We need to get a little above forty three thirty for that one to get down there. What do you guys think? Up day or down day Monday? First question, where do we open Sunday night? Up, down, down, definitely up day. Definitely up or down. <laughs> yeah, my uh, 
my spidey senses, which work about 60% all the time. My spidey senses say down, but a lot could happen over the weekend. Lunch two, still trading at 425. Need a little bounce to reduce that one. El Piero, aka Diego, says down. Three seventy, three eighty. Just doesn't quite want to give me that bounce to reduce stop uh, trunch two yet. Twenty minutes till the bell. down a little bit. Like an early indication of market on close and balance, same 302 million sell side.
Now we're getting closer to our stop on tranche two than we are reducing our stop. My tranche two is trading at 7.30, stops at 8.15. Going to need a little bounce here. Bounce off that forty three twenty. Down to 43.18, tranche two stopped. Did get 15 cent positive slippage. So there's that silver lining. All right, so tranche one and tranche three still in play. Still need to bounce. Both of those are at the 20.35. So if we could just poke our heads back above 4320, that would be fantastic. Stop for tranche threes at 720. It's currently trading at six bucks. I had to put on my three six.
Getting a little bounce in SPX. I just posted my three six. All right, nice little bounce here. Got a little over ten minutes until the bell. Fortunately, tranche two couldn't survive. Tranche one and three down to two bucks. Final market on close and balance is 1.6 billion sell side. Just a little jump. And the market bounced. One and three trading down to a buck twenty. Down to a buck. Bianca added a buck. I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to put both of mine at 30 cents.
trading at 60 cents. I may get filled at 30 cents with five minutes to go. Or I could get stopped out. Never know. Trading down to 50 cents. I am going to go ahead and close these at 30 cents if they can fill down to 40 cents. Thirty five. Low down move. Still trading at forty five fifty cents. Little bounce should take these out. Still at 45 cents. Four minutes to go. Should be getting filled. Yep. Filled at 30 cents on tranche one and three. So tranche one, I made 6,650. Tranche two, I lost 4,560. And tranche three, I made 5,460. So nice win. Nice power hour win. It was a great week for power hour, my friends. We could have just taken out this little random VIX spike to 20. It would have been a fantastic week overall. All right, my friends. Let's see. Looking at the live stream channel. For Monday. which is the 16th. Yeah, so Chad will be streaming live in the morning, Monday and Tuesday. I'll be streaming live for Zero DTE Wednesday, Thursday. Chad will be back on the morning in the morning on Friday, and then we'll be here all week for Power Hour. All right, guys. Thanks for, thanks for spending your last hour of the day with me. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Take care. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Cheers.